Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Saturday Morning RPG. And thank you for joining us. Last time, guys, we started helping out the Omegas. Oh, what? And uh, we're trying to kind of explore the area right now and get an idea of what everything's going on. My spark is holding up, but I won't be able to get to the dam. All right, so we need to help out these these robots. Those boot, those bot changers came so close to crushing my store. I don't think I could go on if my business went under again. Ugh. Billy got ran over. I forgot to mention that by the DeLorean that we summon when we use the tape recorder. This town will be perfect for the commander's plans. Yes, you're correct, number 57. They'll know what hit them when we steal their grapes. <laughs> okay. I thought we were going to have to fight those guys. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, there's a new vending machine. Oh my. Is that a new Optimus machine? Man, there's a lot of stuff here. 262 bucks! Holy crap! What does that do? Is there like an explanation or anything? No, there's not, but... Perhaps we could sell enough crap to get it. Um... I like the base car, I like the tape recorder, I obviously like my floppy disk. <laughs> I'm thinking I might sell... I'm gonna keep the pencil because that thing's amazing. And Optimus has always been useful. But I am kind of curious about that new Optimus robot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell the battleship. Even though it's the battleship's really cool, guys. Uh, and I love the battleship quite a bit. We're going to sell it. And the basketball. How much does it cost? I think we're going to sell everything for us to get it. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the laser disc. Will that be enough? Let's see. Is that enough? Is it enough? It's not enough. We need 10 more bucks. So we're going to sell basically everything to get our hands on that thing. Oh, we can just sell the cookie. Let's just sell the cookie. All right, there we go. That should be enough. At least we kept the sword. I kind of like the loadout we have right now anyway, so. All right, so we blew all of our cash. Got a super sweet item, hopefully. Hopefully we did not waste our, our power here. Ultra Bot Changer uses one. Interesting. Multi-target ridiculous power high accuracy okay well we're gonna we're gonna play with this we're gonna see what happens okay <clears throat> he's like a pissed off optimist like a mean looking optimist I hope that was worth it if not that could have been made a mistake my girlfriend Mary broke up with me today she said was going to leave me for butterfly can you believe that oh so I guess butterfly is a dude okay she's in love with a robot okay I thought butterfly was a chick kind of like his chick colors in case you haven't heard, Molly Ringwald herself will be appearing at Charles Cheeser. I'm here to catch the story from my underground newspaper. Oh, really? Don't worry, Martin. I haven't forgotten about the gruel. I'm still working up a killer reward for you. Also, have you heard about the celebrities in Shadow Valley? I'm going to blow that story wide open. I want to find Molly Ringwald. Hell yeah! Let's go! I want to go. That place looks amazing. Let's go in there. What can I... What can I... I want to go in there. So badly. Oh man, they got a secret handshake machine in the arcade. Look at that, they've got Stealth Janitor and Mustache Rancher. If I only had the quarters right now, I could be all over the car washer cabinet. Okay, anyways. So a couple guys go missing and the feds think I did it. Ain't no justice for an honest business rat around here. Okay, so I guess we're not going to be able to meet Molly Ringwald today. Gee whiz, I can barely stand. I'm so excited for the robot hockey game. Okay. So we're obviously in the town now, which is huge jantic and has a lot of things going on in it. Barry Raymond. <laughs> I'm an usher at the theater. I'm totally going to quit this job when I make it big in music. Barry Raymond, really? Rob Roger Ebert. <laughs> Ebert. I work at the theater, but I might moonlight as a movie critic. If you're seeing Bear Force One, I gave it two claws up and then I mauled the guy. Don't ask questions about that, though. It's all about part of being a bear. <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay. Uh, never gonna give it a, us up. Okay. Have you heard? Of, have you ever had a can of what's up? Ha! Me neither. Wait. What? Go away, dork. I just got robbed. Green back blind. Don't make me do it to you. Okay. So we got a McDonald's here, uh, or a Rick Ash, Rick Ashley. Oh my God, Rick Ashley's. Really? A Rick Ashley's? God, this game. It's just full of puns, man. Hey, Jen. Oh, wait. You're not Jen. 
Jin is an, an arid wolf. Sorry for the confusion. Yeah, whatever. Bo Bobby Jack. Hey, kid, you're with Private Johnson, right? I'm going to level with you. I'm a world-renowned bounty hunter. That's why world-renowned. You can go to the Japan and they know Bobby Jet. I've never heard of you. Probably because I'm too famous. You see this gear I got on? Is that a neon fanny pack? That's a utility fanny pack. Jeez, don't you know anything about bounty hunting? I keep lethal weapons in there. Anyways, I need help. There's some bounties that are uh, below me. Yeah, they're too easy and I need you to help getting them. Okay, I suppose I can help these. These guys are criminals, right? Most of them. The first guy I need you to take out is some chump named Blake. He stole some stuff from Greenbacks. Shop. Oh, Blake, I know him. That's will be easy. Alright, so we're gonna have, we got some battles to do, guys. I'm, I'm down for this. Blake's right over here. Blake, time to, time to do time for your crime. Ha, ah, is this because of that stuff I stole from Peter's shop? He's a dweeb just like you. Hey, Randy's a hard-working business owner. You're the, you're the only dweeb around here. Okay. The dialogue is hilarious. Uh, click, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. Okay. We're going to charge up and then we're going to see what the new... That thing with blue, like, all of our items can do. Um, Multi-target never misses. I'm totally down to see what this thing can do. Damn, it's slow. So it's basically like a bigger, badder Optimus. We got an S rank though, so that makes me happy. You might think you're tougher than me, but you're not. Every time I fought you off, held back my true power. Don't make me unleash it. Okay, he's so. done. Got it. <laughs> what the hell? Here you go, Bobby Jet. Yes, uh, you caught that crook. Here's your cut. I need you to take out the two good soldiers that are scooping out, scooping out downtown. Show them that Bobby Jet doesn't mess around. All right, so we gotta go around now, killing those. Uh, gotta go take out those soldiers. I'm down for that. That's Marty. He's one of the commander told us to watch out for. We should take him out before he foils our plan. Okay. And we got some more good soldiers here. These are just the basic soldiers, so we don't have to watch out. I don't think too much of these guys. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be boring, but I'm going to just go ahead and use um, the robot again. Which will be pretty freaking sweet. And they're dead. Oh, whoa, they're alive. Really? Wow. All right, we'll finish this guy off really quick with a pencil. There you go. He's dead. All right. Got an A. That's probably because I took a, lot, a bit of damage. That's okay, though. You win. You win. Just leave us alone. We promise not to be in trouble. <laughs> We're not going to disappear off the map. All right. Two bounties down. I'm guessing there's probably going to be two to go for the rats. You actually took them down. No way. You're incredible. But now we're near, nowhere near incredible as me. I'm famous, you know. Your next target is a, is a brightly dressed soldier. Periwinkle Elite. Alright, maybe he's in the park. Let's go ahead and save. And we'll go ahead and uh, activate this quest. Alright, so there we go. Jeff says you need to hang in there and stay tough. You will soon rock hard just like the Jeff. What the shit? Alright, let's explore this place, because there's probably stickers somewhere in this place. There's a radio, a trash can. Alright, let's um, talk to these ladies. You guys probably heard already, but I broke up with Todd today. No way! You guys had like such a good thing going. I know, but Butterfly, I don't know, there's something about him. The bot changer? Like, barf me out. <laughs> like, how can you be in love with like a robot? I don't really know. I do know that I'm ready for a change from Todd. I don't know. I don't know how you do it, Samantha. You've been with Billy for six months now. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about Billy anymore. Like, what's your damage? I've just heard stories about him that I don't like. Apparently, Billy has been bullying people. No, duh. That's what makes him so cool. He's a bad boy. <clears throat> if that's considered cool, then I don't want to be cool. Okay, whatever. Excuse me for a second, take a little bit of drinky poo here. My voice is a little chap. Ah, there we go. I'm like Mountain Dew to get things going again. Okay, let's continue exploring here. That's the best time to tell you this, but I heard Samantha talking about you after the rally. Really? What'd she say? She said she actually she actually said bleh, 
She actually said that she wishes Billy could be more like you. No way! Way! I have to, absolutely no context for why. She said that, but she did say it. Regardless, you should probably be saving the town right now and not talking to me about your crush. Right! Time to save the town. Good talking to you, dude. Alright. I love ramen. Nobody good places around here? Alright. Uh, is that Zelda? Get to the chopper! I'm planning to be in the military. It helps me burn cars faster. Oh god. So many puns. What looks... I'd never dumb Todd for a rock. Mary has no idea how lucky she is. One of these days, Todd will realize I'm the one for him. I'd treat him right. I'd never leave his side. Never. We'd get a house in the wilderness. Away from everyone. Just me and Todd and our 12 children. That's right. Todd and I are going to have 12 children. I know all their names. Todd Jr., Todd III, Todd IV, Todd V, Todd VI, Todd VII, Ted, Todd VIII, Todd IX, Junior, Todd Sr., and Spud. Never, we'll be together forever. Yikes. All right. So we got to drive by around here. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, that's the military guy. Okay. Uh, that was the Care Bears. Marty, can you help Molly and I out? Sure, what do you need? We're trying to go to the Charles Cheeser to get some salmon pizza. But the paparazzi are outside. We're trying to get one of the pictures of our pictures with the tablet. My latest film, Barely Legal Attorney at Claw, is going to hit theaters tomorrow. My image is higher than ever. And my dad is Barrison Road. One picture of Molly and I are sharing a pizza, and boom! The tabloids will be on fire. Alright, guys, let's see if I can find you an alternate entrance to Charles Cheeser. Any idea where it should start? You should ask Scott. He's probably he's popular at school, so he'd probably know of a VIP entrance if one existed. Alright, so we gotta help them out. Let's get this guy. When the commander told us you were his nemesis, I thought he was nuts. Now that you took out my buddies, I can see where he's coming from. Okay, we gotta take out this guy. <clears throat> I love the backgrounds in this game, man. They're so awesome. It's just one of those minor details, but there's just like, there's a guy in the phone going, yeah, woo! Uh, let's go ahead and charge up here. And then we'll, I, I'm not going to use the robot this time. It's just silly to do that again. It's, we're going to try and knock him out of the park. Oh yeah, 94 points damage. S rank, one shot, one kill. I love it. Alright. Alright! I'm not going to mess with, with you again. Leave me alone and I'll stay out of your hair. Okay, so we got that done. Now we can get out of the park really quick. Return to Boba Fett. I mean Bobby Fett. I feel like I'm really doing this town of service with my amazing skills. You got one last target. A big lady named Bertha. She's been uh, terrorizing the town. She's totally a criminal, no doubt. Would, would you doubt me? I'm Bobby Jet. No one doubts Bobby Jet. Alright, so we gotta fight Bertha now. Where the hell is Bertha? Alright, let's go around here. Uh, this appears to be a library of some sort? Always wear a suit. Everything you do is cooler in a suit. Alright. Thanks for that, um... Barney Stinson. You're the dude with the magic powers, right? Yeah, I guess. So you're like a genie then, right? Can you make some hockey tickets appear, or do I have to wish for them? Uh, no. My powers don't really work that way. Oops, sorry, I the mic. That sucks. I really want to go to that game. Would you say if I could find tickets to that game? I'd say, what are you waiting for? But you can't just find tickets to the game. They've been sold out for months. Just watch. I'll find some tickets for you. Good luck, dude. You'll need it. Come back to me if you do find them. All right, so we got to find some tickets. We got a sticker. That's good. What sticker did we get? Uh, open the book. Open the book. We got... Oh, uh, balls. I just, uh, no, stop! What are you doing, man? Okay. Magic plus 10%. Uh, nah. Did we get any new covers recently? We haven't checked covers in a while. Uh, it doesn't look like we got any new covers. No, it doesn't look like that. Okay, so we'll just stick with that one. Let's keep exploring here. We're going to probably finish the episode off exploring. Whoa. I'm planning to be a famous comedian, Chris Rock. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Marty! It's okay that you ruined the bake sale. I gotta keep all these unsold desserts. Now I'm having a pan picnic. A cake picnic. Someone hit one of the cakes with a lawn dart. Aside from that, this picnic is awesome. Alright. 
Uh, who's shooting lawn darts? I don't know. Um, alright. Let's fight Big Bertha, guys. We'll end the episode that way. Bertha! It's time for the pay. It's time to pay the price for being a criminal. Criminal? I'm just shopping! That can't be right. You've got a bounty on your head. Bounty? Oh. Commander Hood must have put the bounty on me. I left his forces to pursue my passion, being a high school lunch lady. Commander Hood has issued the bounty? Yes. I was once loyal, but after I got a taste of being the lunch lady, I realized it was my true calling. I was also tired of making the terrible food puns he wrote for me. Uh oh. This is heavy. I either got to fight Bertha or confront Bobby Jet. I'm gonna go confront Bobby Jet. The hell, man, that's not cool. She just wants to be a lunch lady, man. Take out Sarge to collect your pay. No, I wanted to. That doesn't make any sense. I don't want to fight her. Okay, let's go over here really quick. Blah 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 blah. Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, we'll just I guess, go through all the, uh... Fight Bertha or refuse. I'm gonna refuse. Because, you know, he's a, he's a jerk, man. That's messed up. What do you mean she lied to you? She, what do you mean I lied to you? She's totally a criminal. She was shopping. There's no way I'm going to do Commander Hood's dirty work. You know he's my arch enemy, your nemesis, right? Bounty hunting is about legions. If, if you were an awesome bounty hunter like me, you'd know that. If you want to collect the bounty, I will. Bertha is going down. Warn Bertha. Let's warn Bertha. And then we'll call the episode, guys. She's not doing it. Plus, her puns were hilarious. Heads up, Bobby Jess coming to collect the bounty on you. Thanks for the warning. I don't think a chump will be any problem for me. Okay, so I guess we... We walked away from the Bertha fight. We did, I guess, a good thing. We finished a side quest nonetheless, so that's all that matters. As always, guys, if you want me to... Play, you tweet at me at martyr a2j we're going to continue exploring the town here and eventually help out the omega bots or whatever the hell they're called so we will see you next time